Well, made a video this morning showing a two pill and getting down dirty on it, hot and heavy, serious average power coming off of it, just having fun. Remember, everyone, I do not recommend you running your amp that way. That's just me trying to blow it up here on the bench, having fun. But one of the things I did in that video is I hooked up an aftermarket meter movement just to uh, to show the difference between genuine true bird and aftermarket, you know, and there it is. So I want to make something perfectly clear before I go with this video and show what I'm going to show, but I think this is a good meter. I do not think it's a bad meter. I think it's a very good meter. It is good for what it is designed for. It is inexpensive and it is designed to give you a relative power reading that is not an accurate power reading it is designed to give you a relative power reading what that means is is that every day normally I drive down the road and I'm seeing the meter I'm doing 800 watts that's normally every day but you know today I come out and I'm only doing 600 well that told you there's a problem with your system you know also you know that I set my dead key over here at you know at, at, uh, at 200 you know and I need to set it there, and that's where I set it. So it's a relative reading. You know, it gives you something to go by, inexpensive, and it works pretty good. But it is not an accurate piece of equipment. It is not designed for accuracy, and there is no way possible to make it accurate. Bullshit, some people may say to that statement. Well, I'm going to give you guys a little lesson here, and... Uh, to all my fellow electronic engineers out there, this is simple DC uh, series circuit analysis we're going to do here. What I did is I have that meter, another bird meter I just grabbed out of the junk box, and the other bird meter I was using this morning. And I wired them all up in series. And I ran that series circuit through a voltage divider and a 1.5 volt AA battery. So now, what I am going to do is I'm going to start to put voltage across the circuit. And as the voltage goes across these three coils, they're going to start to allow current to pass. I'm going to increase the voltage until we see this get to the end. Now, if you look down here, it says FS equals 30 UA. That means full scale, when it's over here on the end, is 30 microamps of current will be flowing through the coil. Because it's a series circuit, it will be flowing through all of these. There will be 30 microamps of current in the entire circuit, period. That's just the way a series circuit works. Anybody that doesn't want to believe me, they can Google it. And if you really want to understand it, take a circuit analysis class. It'll help. All right, so this device here, this is a bird slug, we call it, okay? What it does is it picks up RF energy and it translates it into a DC voltage and current. All right? And it comes out that little stud there. And what this rating here is, 1,000. That means this is a 1,000 watt slug, 25 through 60 megahertz. That means if you are between 25 and 60 megahertz and transmitted at 1,000 watts exactly, this will output between the casing and the stud, 30 microamps of current, which means that this meter would go all the way to 1,000. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to start turning up the voltage across the, the entire circuit, okay, until we see 30 microamps here. And then we're going to look at the rest of them and see what's going on here. So I'm going to start increasing the voltage here. <clears throat> getting there okay there we go oh and by the way 1.5 volt AA battery uh, 5000 ohm 10 turn precision potentiometer there we go according to this meter we are flowing 30 microamps. So that means that we got this slug in our line section, we got this meter hooked up, 
We're doing a thousand watts right now, boys. Look at that, thousand watts. Uh oh, no you're not. You're doing less than 800. Let's look at this one. Hey, wait, that says the same thing. Well, wait a second, these two meters here say you're doing less than 800. Well, these are precision 30 microamp meters. These are very high precision. They're made by Bird Electronics. That's what they do. That is made. When that's at full scale, it's doing 30 microamps of current to do that. This is not a precision device. This is a relative. Look, it's even creeped up a little bit. It's the coil heating up in it. Let me back it down a little bit. There we go. Now the coil's heated up. There you go. There's an accurate reading. So a little over 750. So with the bird slug in the bird line section, if you saw a thousand watts on this meter, you're actually only doing a little over 750. That's it. All right. So now the question is, how do we make this meter accurate? Well, I can simply say it very easily. You can't. It's not possible. All right. Well, what if I put a I could put a potentiometer in there and adjust it. Let me explain it to you this way. Okay, if this is the scale, the window, when you adjust the potentiometer, you adjust the window. See how it does that? So I moved the window to adjust it. What happened over here? It doesn't open it up. It doesn't broaden it. The potentiometer moves the window. So now the meter's still not accurate. Now, I could put a potentiometer and make it so when I'm doing a thousand watts on here, I could use the potentiometer and set that to a thousand. But as soon as you do less than a thousand, you're inaccurate because you're coming off of that point. You're coming into that window of error now that you've created by putting the potentiometer. And this is all simple. I mean, DC circuit. I mean, this now we're talking scaling. That's actually a little bit more advanced and. Someday, uh, maybe somebody catch me at one of the breaks. I could have a very interesting discussion if they want to talk about scaling. Okay, so there we got that, got that. So let's see what happens if we do a thousand watts. I'm going to turn it up till I see a thousand actual watts. I'm doing a thousand watts. I'm doing a thousand watts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go in the corner okay this is a glory meter but it, like i said it's a relative meter it's not made for accuracy i personally uh i use them uh, for like reflected watts on uh, on my own system because really i don't care if it's accurate or not i just want to see that uh the meter doesn't move for reflected um but there it is a relative meter doing a thousand watts man uh, yeah. No, you're not. Mm, you're off the mark there. So, now, you can imagine also if this was, say it was a 10,000 watt slug. I'm doing 10,000. No, dude, you're doing about 7,500. It's a 5,000 watt slug. Man, I got 5,000 watts going. Uh, no, you got about 3,750. So, you know, just... Wanted to show people this, and uh, there it is. X Force. Don't forget my good friend, Mr. Ohm, and his law. I got a thousand watts! Nope. Not even close, buddy. All right. You guys have a great one. Happy New Year.